was a lass from Liverpool who gave birth to triplet sons. She called the firstborn Paul and the other two George and John. Like McCartney, Paul was her favourite, which led to some rivalry. George became a bit withdrawn, John was driven by anxiety. Paul grew up a happy lad, smothered by his mother's love. While the others plotted various ways, their brother to get shot off. We could push him off the Mersey Ferry as she comes into dock. John suggested on another day to George's obvious shock. Said George, there'd be witnesses, it's subtle we should be. It's got to look like an accident, we must get off scot-free. John pouted but accepted that his brother was probably right. Then took a snifter of his mother's gin to help get him through the night. John woke up the night before they were to do the terrible deed. Round his head ran that beetle's line, love is all you need. George too was having second thoughts, there was something in the air. I've got a feeling, John explained, our plan is here, there and everywhere. So Paul was never pushed as planned, under a Penny Lane bus. The three learned to live together, not the long planned two of us. What the future holds for them, well tomorrow never knows. All things must pass, John joked to George, who replied, that's the way it goes. All things must pass, John joked to George, who replied, that's the way it goes.